gamers. All right, Nalan is here early, like two hours earlier than I thought it would be. So I figured I would hop on, and I'm not gonna start Nalan immediately. I'm gonna have to, I gotta do, I don't know if I have to, but I'm gonna do it anyway just to get it out of the way. I'm gonna do the, I, I forget what the Dane Sliff quests are called, but I'm gonna do that one first, just to get out of the way so I don't miss anything. And maybe we'll, we'll start the main quest for, I'm gonna go ahead and start this because it's gonna take three years anyway. And maybe I'll start the main Notland quest. But I was going to do a stream before 5.0, but I already had 110 uh, encounter points that are going to waste and I'm not going to waste anymore because I don't want to do daily quests. Did they remove the thing or is it just taking forever? Okay, it was just taking forever. But yeah, I didn't want to waste even more encounter points. My heart fucking broke seeing that 110 we're just gonna disappear for no reason they have no reason to do that but I don't know uh, but yeah uh, you might hear my air conditioner I'm not gonna turn it down because it is fucking hot today and it's been hot yesterday and like this whole fucking week it's felt like a billion degrees so you might hear some buzzing sorry about that and no yapping from Paimon oh. Traces of artistry now available. What is that? The call of mystical martial arts. Ooh, I knew. Oh yeah, I didn't. I didn't stand in a location because I didn't really feel like it. Let's see our encounter points be gone. Ah, uh, uh, zero, zero point zero. It hurts. It really hurts to see. Where's the new domain? Oh, these are... I still haven't done some of these from like Sumeru. I don't think I've done a single one from Sumeru. Uh, we might... What is this? Artifact transmit... Oh! Oh, so they expire. So I should use these. I'll learn about that later. Alright, there's that. Let's see this new event. Oh, oh! You can choose it now. There's 41 days. That was a really cool ima uh, animation. <laughs> that is way cooler than it has any right to be. That's sick. Traces of artistry. This is what I was talking about. How long for this? 19 days. At the children of Echo's tribal stage. A graffiti expert extends a grand invitation to you in Paimon to travel around Natland in search in search of what? In search of what? I can't read it. Oh well, whatever. Whoa! I can join the team? No, what is this? Complete bedtime story. Mm, is that I'm assuming that's a main quest. <laughs> I might save these for the next stream, tomorrow's stream. Oh. What do you mean time remaining 41 days? Oh, you get oh that's 500. I thought it was 50. Oh. Ooh, that's dope. What is this? Her story quest? This is so cool. Oh, this is just a new boss. Navigating the world That's is cool a whole lot easier with a few different. It seems like an upgrade visually. What's down here? Oh, it's the events. Entities to choose from. Need me to come up with some for you. Oh, I already checked that. Once, Once there was a glorious stop, kingdom stop, stop. established. I don't care. But um, I don't care. What is this? Please select the basic BP reward you can earn. 
You can change your award plan at any time during the DP season. Huh? Where am I gonna use this one? Okay, well I don't need... I don't need this. I need this. I can't take them all? No. That's probably the least thing I need. I don't get too many weapons too often, so... Yes. What does that mean, though? Is that only for premium, or...? Oh, it's like the in-betweens. Oh, that is so sick. I Dude, that is so huge. That is actually so huge. How the fuck do I have that already? That's so huge, actually. Let's check out these banners. Not, I haven't played her yet, to be fair. But I'm not gonna lie, a part of me regrets getting Yelon when I could have gone for her instead. But, uh... I mean, if I even if I do like her, I can I can just get her another another rerun. Oh yeah, let's check out the weapons. Ah, it is now one fate point. What does this weapon do? Crit damage, basic. Max HP increased by twenty percent once every fifteen seconds for the fourteen seconds after using an elemental skill. Gain four scorching summer stacks. Each stack increases no. The duration of the effect once. Oh, if it would have been charged attack, that would have been huge for Nuvolet. Not that I even have him, so it doesn't matter. But, uh. Cool. Where's Natlin? Where did it spawn? Oh, here it is. That's so tiny. It's a little funnel. It's such a small area. But compared to the desert, maybe. I'll check that out later. I'm gonna do, like I said. Ah, do I have, do I want to though? Do I have to is the question. Oh, it's our conquest, so I probably do. Uh. Yeah, I do gotta do bedtime story. I mean, I could quick start, but I'm not gonna. If I have to, I'll just do it instead. I'd rather not miss anything. Alright. We'll do bedtime story. Hopefully it's not long. Because it is like 10 p.m. and I'd like to not stay up too late and be too loud. Preferably, preferably be done in less than three hours. Dude, I cannot wait for Capitano. I really hope he shows up now. When did when did the Tori show up? During Sumeru, was it in the first patch? I don't even remember. It was a billion years ago. And lo, Catherine, after two months or something, I'm finally start. Oh, what the? F what is this party? Hell no. <laughs> no. <laughs> um. I'll do this one. Boom, but I'd be great if you didn't take three hours. Alright, Catherine, let's get this party started. Ah, perfect. It's you two. I have a commission here that has your names written all over it. In fact, I'd even go so far as to say you're the only ones for the job. Oh, I thought you meant literally had our names on it. The only ones for the job? Huh. If our help is really that important, it's probably some Archon class commission, right? Never heard of this classification before. But sure, we're happy to take this on. Which Archon do you need us to help, need us to deal with today? <laughs> the Adventurous Guild doesn't employ that kind of classification system. 
In fact, this commission is also probably not nearly as intimidating as what you're expecting. All it asks us to do is to find a missing person. You thought a fucking missing person was for us? Huh? Then why did you say we were the only ones for the job? I came across this commission while reviewing our backlog not too long ago. It seems simple, but our records indicate that over a dozen successive efforts to complete it have all ended in failure, despite attempts by several accomplished and renowned adventurers. With the reputation of the Adventurers Guild and the performance of the Sumeru branch at stake, it's in our best interest to assign this commission to the adventurer with the highest completion rate over the past few years. She, that's us? Well, that's us for sure! Sorry, I'll get you everywhere, Brothers <laughs> Paimon. But I can't guarantee we'll be able to complete it either. <laughs> All I'm asking is for you to give it your best shot. Hit if it me proves to be beyond your shot. capabilities as well, I'll talk to the commissioner about cancelling the commission. Okay, so who are we looking for? And what is it about this commission that's uh, made it so hard to complete? Mountain Dew is so fucking good. This commission was jointly issued by the residents of Vimara Village. They say one of their own villagers has gone missing. But the problem is, they don't know the missing person's name. Bruh. They can only provide information about his general appearance. Uh, they're all from the same village, but they don't even know his name? You know everyone's name in your neighborhood? I don't even know my neighbors. Hmm. If so many adventurers have failed to complete this commission, maybe this missing villager doesn't exist at all. Could it be some sort of a prank or something? Unlikely. Several villagers came by to issue the commission, and judging by their appearance and tone of voice, they seemed incredibly sincere. It certainly didn't seem like a joke to them. Besides, putting up a commission requires a processing fee. There aren't many upsides to a prank that costs Mora to carry out. Wow. Well, that would be a little strange. In or any true, case, it would probably be best to go to Vimara Village and ask around first. The Adventurous Guild does have some information on hand, <coughs> but I would say anything you can learn directly from the villagers would be far more reliable. The best way to avoid misdirection is to go to the source. Alright then, let's go! Paimon's starting to get really curious about this whole thing. Whom is this missing persona? Is it Dane himself? Oh, that's where that is. I thought I was in the desert. Vimera Village. Man, I just keep thinking about Natlin. I'd rather be there. But now, I gotta eat my vegetables first. We made it to Vamara Village! Why don't we talk to some of the villagers to learn a little bit more about the missing guy? If this commission is really as challenging as Cather made it out to be, we're gonna need to carry out a very detailed investigation. Don't hit a branch, don't hit a branch. Oh my god, I nearly missed the bridge. Hello there. You looking to buy something? Hell. I do business in this area. Oh, no, no. We're adventurers. <coughs> Catherine sent us to look into a commission here in Vermara Village. Ah, so you're here about that then. Ah, you're not the first, that's for sure. We've certainly made a lot of trouble for you all. Sorry. To be honest, we aren't holding out much hope. Many adventurers have made their way out here, confident they'd be able to help us, only to leave soon after with nothing to show for their efforts. <coughs> We've pretty much had it up to here in questions, and the area around the village has practically been overturned in search of clues. But no one has been able to make any headway. So, this person we're looking for, what's his name? Where did he live? Does he have any relatives? Uh, I, I don't know. I really have no clue. You're fucking worthless. I couldn't tell you. Okay. Guess you are really sick of answering questions. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to sound short him? with you. I was actually just giving you <coughs> my answer to your questions. So those three questions are a no-go then? Is there anything else you can tell us? I know it may seem like we don't have anything to offer by way of information, but I promise you, we all have a very strong impression of him. 
When you live in the same village as someone, you develop a lot of memories together, you know? So you made memories with this person and never bothered to learn their name? We just don't know the specifics. Maybe we did at one point, but that information is long gone by now. At least that's what everyone in the village seems to think. We've all exchanged what we know, and that was the only logical conclusion. Alright, specifics aside then, what kind of person was he? Young guy. In his early 20s, probably. Incredibly kind sort of person. Always willing to lend a helping hand. I'd chat with him when I didn't have any customers. I even saw him stick out his neck for others on more than one occasion. <laughs> Very interesting guy, that one. Now that you've started talking about him, you don't seem nearly as down in the dumps as you did before. Seems like he left a pretty good impression on you. But of course. Everyone in the village is pretty fond of him. We wouldn't have issued that commission otherwise. There aren't many young people like him nowadays. So genuine and pure. To think that he just up and disappeared one day. I just hope nothing bad happened. Could he have just moved away without telling anyone? No. He's not the type to leave without saying goodbye. And anyway, moving away without being seen by a single person in the village? There's no way he would have been able to manage that. Huh. All right, thanks for the information. We're gonna go ask around some more. Well, didn't he live here? Where did he live? Can we look in his house for clues? I really hope he's okay. Please, we're counting on you to find him. No promises. That so guest here. Yeah. Hi, Grandpa Amadea. We're here to help you look for the guy that's gone missing. We know this guy? Ah, so that's what brings you to these parts. Coming all this way for our sake. That's so very kind of you. With your help, I trust that young man's case is in good hands. Could you tell us a bit about him? Of course. I'm happy to help any way I can. With my failing eyesight, I'm afraid I can't offer much about his appearance. But I do remember hearing the sound of his voice. Not recently, of course. That loss has left me feeling quite empty. I don't think his parents are still living in the village. But somehow he never seemed lonely. In fact, he was usually the one offering companionship to others. He would often take time to visit the elderly or play with the orphans in the village. And whenever someone had something on their mind, he was there to listen with open ears. He always knew just what to say. Damn, bro's glazing. As the village chief, I owe him many thanks. Helping villagers navigate difficult moments in their lives should have been one of my responsibilities. But he was often the one rising to the occasion. Wow. He seems like such a nice and gentle person. No wonder his disappearance affected you all so much. But, um, you wouldn't happen to know any details about his name, address, or family situation, right? <sighs> I'm ashamed to admit it, but I just can't remember. No matter how you look at it, I should know those things. But for some reason, no matter how hard I try to remember, the information just doesn't come. Perhaps my age really has caught up with me this time. Ah, uh, it's okay. There's no need to force yourself to try and remember. We'll figure something out. Ah, oh, laddie, we ain't finding this guy. Well, Traveler, what do you think? I think he's fucking dead. It's probably more of the case than meets the eye. I don't think so, too. Like, the name thing. It's so weird that no one remembers his name. And nobody has been able to tell us anything about his family or where he lived. It's like this guy's been erased from reality or something. I would say it's more like he's someone who only exists in people's memories. Wait, so you're saying it's not that he's been erased necessarily, but more like he never existed to begin with? Okay, Paimon's gonna need some time to process that one. Someone who only exists in people's memories? Could it be that what happened with the little 
Could it be like what happened with Greater Lord Lord? Ah, I can't read. Greater Lord Rukhavada, like some sort of mass mass alteration of people's memories. <gasps> Maybe you'll wonder. You two are the adventurers who just arrived, right? Who the hell are you? You're here for the Vimara Village Commission? No. Yep, sure are. We were just looking into the case. I'm so glad to hear that. Thank goodness you haven't given up. I've been so worried the Adventurers Guild might cancel our commission. Yeah, about that. I was literally on the verge of giving up. My name is Atosa, by the way. I grew up here in Vimara Village. Anyway, I just wanted to say, please keep searching for a missing villager. I'm begging you. Mm. You have to find him. Have to? I'm sure we'll track him down. Yeah, we'll try our no best. need to worry. We'll give it our best shot. I ain't promising so, shit. were you close to the missing villager? Are there any leads you can give us? Hmm. I'm not sure this counts as a lead, but follow me. There's a place I'd like to show you. Yeah, right. You're probably going to take us to his bodies and kill us. Get her, Paimon. I don't trust her. Where are you? I don't trust her. She's gonna kill us too. Is this the place? Under this tree? Yep, he's buried there. Yep. I knew it. I know it doesn't look like much, but this place is very meaningful to me. It's so full of memories. We used to always sit together under this tree and talk. Sometimes we would look up at the clouds in the sky or stop to feel the wind against our skin. We could sit there for hours at a time, <coughs> never realizing how long it had been. <coughs> so surely you know his fucking name, right? I was actually adopted by the people of Bamar Village. The forest rangers <coughs> found me in the woods as a child. Damn. I was surrounded by such good people, and growing up in the village was so lively. Still, there were times when I couldn't help but feel incredibly alone. Alone? Uh, how should I put it? When something's bothering you, or when you have good news to share, you always want to talk about it with somebody. But for the longest time, I didn't know who I could talk to, or if I should say anything at all. Damn, so true. Everyone has their own problems to deal with. Even if I might want to confide in others, I don't want to become a burden. I think I get what you mean. That's what family's for. She's got no family, really? she was dumped in the forest! You know exactly how I feel? Yeah, surprise, you're not the only motherfucker who feels lonely. I used to have someone like that, a family member that I could talk to no matter what. But now I have a lot of friends who understand me and would be happy to hear me out. Aww. I wasn't including you, Paimon. Wow, that sounds really nice. You're quite lucky. When it comes to our missing villager, well... I guess you could say that to me. He felt like both a family member I could rely on and a friend who could really understand me. No matter what came my way, I knew I could always talk to him. Oh shit, there's a mushroom back there. He was so thoughtful and pure. And patient, too. Whenever I talked to him, he would always seem so interested, as if the things I was describing were just as important to him as they were to me. Ever since he disappeared, there's been so much I wanted to tell him. <laughs> Damn. That's fucking sad. No, no, none of those things matters now. I just really want to see him again. Wow, you two must have been really close. Did he ever tell you anything about himself? Nope, she just yapped his ear off. That's probably why he laughed, because you never listen to him. You don't even know his name. He mostly just talked about interesting things he saw around the village. He'd share a lot of his own wild ideas as well. Oh, right. I did ask him about his parents once, but all he said was, they're not here anymore. Damn. I didn't know whether that meant they had left the village or passed away, and I didn't want to pry. Hmm, still not much to go off of. It's literally nothing to uh, go off of. Look at me. 
talking your ear off and still nothing to show for it. I'm sorry I wasn't more help. Yeah, you kinda suck. Don't say that, you helped us understand him better. Uh, sure. The Why last not? time I talked this much in one go was when we were still together. Oh, come to think of it, every time we talked it always seemed to be around dusk. Just like right now. It was a ghost. Time He's a always vampire. passed by really slowly. Even when it felt like we'd been talking for hours, the sun would still be at the same position in the sky. Well, time always seems to pass slower when you're relaxed, right? Uh, what's wrong, Traveler? It was always the same time of day, and the time never seemed to pass. Based on what we've learned, this is definitely not a regular missing persons case. This, bi this whole village is fucking schizo. What Atosa just told us about the time could be the key to unraveling this whole mystery. It'd help if you spoke out loud. I found your boyfriend! Hey, look at those hilly trails over there. Doesn't it seem like they're acting a little strange? Oh shit. Fucking mage. Uh, the Abyss Order. Could they be the ones behind all of this? Oh shit. <laughs> uh oh, we've been spotted. Quick, get ready to fight. Come get your ass, little boy. Where's my sounds? <laughs> ah shit. Ah, I don't got nothing for y'all. <laughs> My name Echo in song. Strike a pup. Bust it. I genuinely have nothing. On the way now. Ah! I can't do a fucking thing. Now's your chance. Well, that took fucking forever. Thank you so much. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't expecting monsters to show what the up. Fuck? If you hadn't been here, I'm not sure what I would have done. You would have died, is what you would have done. There was no trouble. The question we should be asking now is what is the Abyss Order doing around here? Hmm, now that I think about it, the healing trolls around Vilmara Village have been a lot more active lately. They seem agitated and would often attack anything in sight. Chief Amadea doesn't allow the children to play in the area around the village anymore. Hmm. Maybe the Abyss Order really is involved. Well, we should head back and check out the situation in Vimara Village just in case. If the Abyss Order is plotting something, that could spell trouble for the villagers. True. Wait a second. The person! <gasps> it's... It's Dainsliff! Oh, I misspelled his name in the title. <laughs> oh shit, he just vaporized them. Ah, it's you two. Are you practicing your magic tricks? Oh, a friend of yours? Well, no. Well, I'll leave you all to it then. I should head back to the village and check up on Chief Amadea and the others anyway. Well, see you later. Yep, bye -bye. see you later, Atosa! Why do you now that have we're to alone. Pop out of nowhere like that? Is it your life's mission to jump scare us or something? <laughs> it's hardly personal, or intentional for that matter. As long as you and I are both in pursuit of the Abyss Order, we're bound to cross paths. I can't wait for his release. Ah, so you're here to investigate the Abyss Order then? That would explain the monsters you were fighting just now. Naturally. Hold on. Are you not here for the same purpose? We're also on their tail. But I'll admit we ran, at, ran into them on accident. Hmm. No matter. It may have taken you a while to catch on, but I'm sure you've also realized by now that there's something strange about this place. The Abyss Order is most certainly planning something in this area. Or worse, their plan could already be in motion. 
So you think the Abyss Order is behind the hilly trail activity in the area? As things stand, I highly doubt that is their primary motive. I would imagine the increased hilly churl activity is merely a byproduct of whatever it is they're really trying to accomplish. Still, the hilly churl activity is causing a lot of problems for the people here. We should stick around for a while and protect the village, don't you think? Hell no. The best way to protect them is by figuring out what the Abyss Order is truly planning. That is how we prevent further tragedy. True. Well, let's see. Let's see what more we can learn from the villagers. And after that, you also owe us many answers. And you shall have them. I never intended to hide anything from you. What was the last one we did? It wasn't the... Was it? <coughs> Excuse me, was it? When we were with that hillichurl dude. The kid, I don't remember his name. I think he killed himself or something. <laughs> uh... Was that the last one? I think it was. Don't worry. There should be ample time to talk. There will be talk. You return to the mayor village to gather until based on what you've learned. You question villagers until eventually the sky grows dark. Finished it, bitch. I don't think I got ah. the village name right, but whatever. So that was the commission that brought you here to Vimara village. Someone who seems to only exist in people's memories. That is indeed quite intriguing. I would agree that it's unlikely you have a simple missing persons case on your hands. However, any possible connection to the Abyss Order is still unclear. It appears all we have by way of clues is increased hilly churl activity. And that is certainly not much to go off of. <coughs> well then, how about you intel you how about the intel you promised me? Right! That mysterious voice he heard in his sister's memory. The one who called himself a sinner. Who is he? Ah, you're gonna need to give me a refresher, because I don't remember. Hmm. Traveler, let me ask you this. Do you believe your sibling to have betrayed you? I want to have faith in her, in a manner of speaking, yeah. Nope. I would betray me too if I had the option. Let me join her and take over the motherfucking world. Hmm. I sense hesitation in your words. Zero. After all, you still haven't figured out the whole truth of what happened. Because you won't tell me! There's still hope for the two of you to reconcile. Irreparable damage has not yet been done. The sinner you wish to know about... His situation is different. Is it you? He and his fellow sinners have long betrayed me and long betrayed their nation. His name is Vedderfolnir. Vedderfolnir. The Visionary. <sighs> Man, I'm way tired than I thought. Uh, I'm loath to admit it, but he is also my kin. <gasps> is my he playable too? Your brother? <gasps> I should have been your sister. Then we'd be the same. What happened between the two of you? really have it in Conria back then. There were five of them. The five sinners of Conria. <gasps> the wise, Roptatir. The visionary, Vedderfolnir. Gold, Rhindor. Hey! The foul, I know Sotologi, And Rehir of Solnari, Rerir. Rerir. <laughs> no matter how eroded my memory may become, I will never forget their names. One day, I shall have my vengeance. Wait, Damn. some of those names sound really familiar. Rhine Daughter is the one who created Albedo. Sertologi is Skirk's master. And the one we just learned about, Dane's brother, Vedafolnir. If he was the voice of the sinner, then the one who inspired Clotar to create the Abyss Order was him. Somehow everything is connected. If that's true, then the stone slates we found in the ruin of in Fontaine, the ones that outlined Fontaine's prophecy, that was likely Ved was doing as well. They were once people of great esteem in Kanria. Those who carried the hopes of the nation. They were the best of their peers, 
outstanding in their respective fields. The six of us, together. We should have been the ones to prevent the disaster. The ones to stop the Vinster King from continuing to rock the foundation of the world. Yet, deep within, the five of them craved something more. They could not resist the call of the Abyss, and divided among themselves a power that could destroy the world. <laughs> the way Paimon got surprised and my dude's just fucking chilling. So they became sinners, but also transcendent beings, each in possession of world-shattering power. And when the cataclysm occurred, not one of them stood up in defense of their nation. <coughs> not one came forward to prevent the tragedy. And for that, they shall never <coughs> have my forgiveness. Ah. And then my sibling came into contact with your brother. <coughs> I don't know why I just can't drink water sometimes. It just goes down the wrong pipe and kills me. Indeed. <coughs> if they are not stopped, the day is sure to come when they will also betray the entire world. <gasps> it must be hard to talk about all this. And thank you for telling me. Of course. As I said, I never intended to hide anything from you. So, Dean, what have you been looking into all this time? I've continued to investigate the questions surrounding the Loom of Fate. It's been quite some time since the initial operation was launched. By retrieving the eye of the first field tiller, we were able to stop part of their plan from coming to fruition. I might use this as a... As a... the, 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 the thumbnail. So I'll just get that. Oh, Paimon remembers! Weren't they going to use it to corrupt Osile and make a god or something? Indeed. However, it's obvious that was just some sort of technical experiment. The eye was integral to their plan, yet somehow, despite failing to obtain it, they've skipped the experimental phase and found some other way to keep moving forward. <coughs> there are many signs pointing to that effect. <coughs> Fuck, I'm so annoying. Then what should we do? It's not too late, is it? Our most pressing concern is to determine the purpose of the Loom of Fate. From there, we'll be able to deduce the Abyss Order's true objective. Based on the intel I've gathered so far, I suspect the Loom of Fate is related to the Ley Lines in some way. The Ley Lines? Traveler. What? You were able to observe your sibling's memories last time, yes? I believe that was due to the fact that the ley lines in that area were unstable. My recent investigation has shown that Abyss Order activity in a particular area is usually followed by a series of issues with the ley lines. And one of the things that follows through the ley lines are memories. Wait! Then our commission here in Vimara Village, the person who seems to exist only in people's memories, could it be connected? <gasps> Memories, ley lines, the loom of fate, the missing person that doesn't seem to exist. What's the connection between all this? It's certainly possible. I'll join your investigation tomorrow. Tomorrow? This missing persons case could very well turn out to be the key to unraveling these mysteries. Well, if we're teaming up with Dane again, we're gonna need all the energy we can get. Let's try investigating somewhere a little further away tomorrow. Okie dokie. Oh, thank God I didn't have to do the stupid time thing myself. <coughs> wakey, wakey, bitch. It's time to explore. Yeah, hold on. Oh my God, oh, Jesus I'm so Christ! Tired. I used way too much brain juice yesterday. It's all Dane's fault saying all that complicated stuff. I didn't sleep well either. My head's a mess. Well, let's go find Dane. We've got a lot to do today. He probably left already, knowing the bastard. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Shut up. Oh, Dane! Fuck you, get away from Dane. Uh, Just Dane? punch him in the gut. Hello, Dane? Push him! Why are you just zoning out over here? Uh. 
Did something happen? What's wrong, Dane? <sighs> the missing person from your commission. Could you describe them to me? No, I, I literally cannot. These fucking people don't know shit. Oh, I. So he was a guy. And he was nice. That's it. Young guy? Early 20s? Seriously, Dane, what's going on? There appear to be certain memories in my mind that weren't there before. Memories. Great, now you're dating him too? Him. Him. I. Uh, maybe. Maybe we just talked too much about him yesterday and you had a weird dream or something? No. It wasn't a dream. They're memories. Memories that suddenly appeared in my mind after I woke up. And I'm certain I've never met this person before. I've never seen this man in my life. Well, what exactly did you remember? I remember... Handing him the eye of the first field tiller. <gasps> it was you? What? Okay, Kill him. so this missing person definitely has something to do with the Abyss Order then. Indeed. And it appears he possesses the ability to implant memories into the minds of others. How's that even possible? Wait then. All the memories the villagers have of him, could they be fake too? Maybe they never knew him at all. But why would he do something like that? Whatever the Abyss Order is planning, an important truth has been revealed to us this morning. What sort of truth? That their goal is still to obtain the eye of the first field tiller. They haven't stopped searching for it. I am the only person who knows its location. Perhaps planting telling? that particular memory was an attempt to interfere with my mind in some way. Is the eye still safe? What if that memory is real? Your concerns are not entirely unfounded. I don't believe the Abyss Order is capable of altering reality like that just yet. However, considering their single-minded pursuit of the eye, I would see an equal level of caution is in order on our part. Come with me. We must check whether the eye is still in our possession. Oh, so you're going to take us to where you hit it? But what if someone follows us? If we go straight there and someone is on our tail, are we just exposing the eye's location? Can you fucking tell him your concerns instead of just thinking? Maybe that's the reason the Abyss Order implanted that memory in the first place, to force Dane to confirm the eye's location. Hmm. Then tell him! Given what I know of him though, I'm sure Dane has already thought of that possibility. It seems like he might already have a plan. Lead the way, Dane. Of course. I'll follow that juicy ass. Ridesley's ass, to be specific. But. Oh, man. Why is it so far away? Well, at least I didn't have to climb that far. So you hit it way out here? Not an easy place to discover, that's for sure. Well, let's go check to see if it's safe. Traveler, wait. <sighs> what? Uh, this motherfucker's got a fucking hangover. We've no time to lose. Let's head inside. What is Dane gonna tell? What was Dane gonna tell me just now? Hey, wait up! Wow. What the fuck is that? Rose Dobby. Ugh. I think my dinner fucked me up, I ain't gonna lie. Fire and electro. Nope, not you, you fucking idiot. Behold, 
The princess and Deva are telling. Silence. The princess and Deva are telling. Oh, let's go. A package of mine just shipped. Shit, I've been waiting for three more billion months. Three more billion months! Alright. <coughs> Who wants to get their ass beat? Ooh, this is pretty as fuck. I always hate walking, oh, walking through places like this because I'm scared I'm going to miss a chest and I'm never going to have a chance to get it again. It appears the oh right, I can upgrade the level. Time. The world you can level. access the upper floor through the side door. Perhaps you should try reactivating the mechanism over there. mechanism the chest back here I know it Ooh, don't mind if I do Yeah, right. I gotta wait for his health bar. Transfixed. Fallen leaves. Adorn my knight. Into the wind. Teamwork is dream work. Shadow Raven. Let night fall. Open sesame. What the hell is that? Three lights. How do I do this three more times? Make sure all the runes are pointing uh. in the direction indicated by the light. That should unlock the mechanism. I'll do that in a second. My stomach is really fucking acting up. I'll be right back.
But um, I'm back. Da -da -da, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. What is this? Oh, hell. I'm such a goat, for real. Ah, the door's open. Let's go. Our destination is just up ahead. Okay, hopefully that's the last time that happens. The bathroom thing, not the puzzle. What's up there? Oh, I'm supposed to go from there. I thought I glitched the game and found a secret. I'm unmuted, right? Yes. Okie dokie. Wow. Oh my god, what is it with all these fucking doors? <laughs> Ooh. I don't know if I ever said this, but I hate the way her boots sound. I mean, I like them, but it's annoying after, like, listening to them for, like, ten seconds. Wow. Looks like we can't go any further. That's what you think, bozo. But watch this. Be on your guard. I sense the presence of the abyss. <gasps> That's just Paimon. Oh shit! It's the Who's this gamer? They're here. What's up, motherfucker? The wind knows me. Huh? You think you can beat That's me? Gonna hurt in the morning. Okay, I'm going in. Fucking piece of shit. Uh. Uh. Check what this out. Bop. Oh my god, the birds come! One with nature! Let's light it up! You suck so much dick! Ah! Blah, 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 stop! Heal, heal! Fucking fast! Teamwork! Teamwork! Stop! Let me heal! Off we go! Midnight Phantasmagoria! <laughs> Shit. Bow before your queen. Just as I suspected. The false memories were a trap. The Abyss Order just wanted to follow us here. <laughs> See? If only you fucking voiced your concern, because his dumbass didn't think of it. Now that they're in the vicinity, we should have a chance to see. Great. The death of Dane. Dane? What's wrong? Can you feel that? There's been a disturbance in the ley lines. It must be the work of the Abyss. Wow, you must think be really sensitive to that sort of thing. Byman doesn't feel it. You too. Do as I say. Use that now. mechanism over there and leave this place. I don't trust you anymore. Nah, you're gonna shapeshift into some, some bullshit. The Abyss Order is putting something in motion. If you return to Vimara Village, I suspect you might finally have the opportunity to locate the missing villager. Just think of it as a way to divide and conquer. All right, I have no choice. I swear to God, if we come back and you're a fucking mage or something, I'm gonna kill you. Bye, Dane. Dane does have a point. But something still feels off. What am I missing? You're missing a brain! It's not Dane! Who is it? Or maybe it is and he betrayed us? Or maybe it actually just is and he's doing something smart. What is what, what, what is happening? Who is it? What is it? It is Lumin. Oh shit. I knew going along with your trap would be the only way to meet with you face to face. Are you gonna fight? Damn, she looks so fucking cool. I'm gonna get that just in case. Damn, you she's got the sword. And that of the eye. That's quite the gamble, Dainsleth. 
But I believe that I am the one walking into a trap laid by the Twilight Sword. So you came here all on your own? What about those followers of yours? When the Twilight Sword is prepared for battle, any army I could send would only be marching to their doom. Better that I face you alone. Damn, fuck him up, Louis! Go! You must have a lot to say. But if it's a conversation you want, you'll have to defeat me first. Nah, you better show a cutscene. I'm gonna be so mad if you just edge me and show me nothing. Fight! Pick up your sword, Dane Slift! Dane Slift? Dane Slift, kill her! Kill her! Kill my sister! Of course, you show me nothing. Why would I think you'd show me anything? It's just gonna cut to after and you're gonna have fucking chatted or something. <laughs> he fucking cucked me from my sister. The abyss order's Great. on the move. We get nothing. The ley lines are all out of whack. We better hurry back to Vimara Village and see what's going on. I don't think Vimara Village is 30 meters away. Oh, dead hilly trails. Great. Hey, look at those hilly trails over there. They seem strangely calm. Weren't they acting super agitated just a little while ago? <laughs> Why are they so calm all of a sudden? Wait, I hear something. In the new world, they bade farewell to the shrouded sun. Who the fuck is that? At last, they no longer needed to dwell on their suffering, or try to differentiate between various thoughts of blasphemy. Such was the price they paid, and thus their souls became cleansed and pure. Uh, did you hear that? What was that sound just now? Oh, you heard it too, Paimon? It sounded so gentle. Could that voice be comforting the hilly trills in some way? Oh, this is weird. Let's check if this is happening anywhere else. Hilly trills are off the menu, boys. Just kidding. Wake up. Ah, you're so lucky. I'm taking your snacks, though. Huh? Oh. Oh, I'm locked. I thought it was further away. Hello? Looks like the same thing is happening over here, too. The hilly churls are calm. Are you calm? See, we're both still here. We've reclaimed an endless amount of time to love. Huh? Release your tears. You no longer need to hold back your sorrow. That voice again. Who oh, are you? Show yourself. Damn, I would have easily decapitated him. Stop lounging. Get back to work. Over there, it looks like they're sleeping. In the end, he whispered softly, "Sleep well, father." Sleep well, my beloved people. When you awake, that which differentiates us shall be no more. It almost sounds like a poem or some kind of story. Well, now that the hilly trolls have calmed down, Vimara Village should be safe at least. Let's put the situation to the side for now. Dane said this might be our chance to find the missing villager, so we should head back to Vimara Village before it's too late. Okie dokie. Now. Easy clap. Old man Jenkins, have you found him? Grandpa Amadea, is everyone all right? The Abyss Order seems to be up to something nearby. The Abyss Order? 
This is the first I'm hearing of it. Uh, thank you for your concern. But as far as I'm aware, it's been business as usual here in the village. Well, that's good to hear. Oh, also, you didn't happen to come across any clues about the missing villager while we were gone, did you? Hmm? Someone's gone missing, you say? Who would that be? Great. Your grandpa's got dementia. Huh? <coughs> you don't remember? Things just got even more complicated. Well, you know, the young guy from Vimara Village. The one you've been looking for all this time? You posted a commission with the Sumeru Adventurers Guild. That's kind of the whole reason we're here, actually. Your missing persons commission. Ah, I do apologize, you two. I hope I'm not worrying you too much. I'm sure it's just my age making me forgetful again. At least right now, I can't seem to recall whatever it is you're referring to. Perhaps you should try asking someone else. Wait, how is that? Uh, all it's right. old, Paimon. Thanks for it's your not help, that hard. Grandpa Amadea. Remember, you owe me $4,000. Something's definitely not right. We just talked to Grandpa Amadea about the missing villager. There's no way he could have forgotten all about him just like that. What do you think, Traveler? Does could everyone's not memories of the missing world? villager have been erased again? It's too early to say. We should check in with the others first. You're right. We should narrow down the possibilities first. Let's go ask someone else then. Maybe they also have an early onset dementia. Talk to Baharam. Baram. Hey, Baram. Do you remember the 21st night of Someone's September? Someone's gone missing? Who? Uh, just as expected. Um, that guy you said a bunch of nice things about earlier? The one you always used to chat with. Shit, I'll be back. Give me dos minutos. BRB.
I am back again. That took way longer than two minutes, but whatever. Um, that guy you said a bunch of nice things about earlier, the one you always used to chat with. He's around 20 years old, and you said he was a kind, warm-hearted person? Oh, I know who you're talking about. Really? You remember? There aren't many young people who've earned that kind of praise from me. If you're certain that's what I said, then there's only one person who fits the bill. No doubt about it. But why'd you say he's gone missing? Have you seen him recently? Have you seen him recently? Do you know where he went? Yeah, I just saw him leave the village. There was someone else with him, too. They couldn't have gone far. Let's go. It was the woman. Strange. They she all seem to him. remember him. And apparently he just saw him? Do you think maybe it's not that there's something wrong with people's memories, but that we've somehow returned to a time before he went missing? <laughs> I didn't even think about that. I doubt returning to the past would be that simple. Given everything Dane mentioned about the disturbances with the ley lines, I'd say it's far more likely th this is related to the memories in some way. I need to think carefully what's really going on. Man, fuck this shit. I fucking hate this. People have forgotten about the missing person. We've returned to a point where the disappearance took place. We're presently traversing someone's memories. If this person only exists in people's memories, Maybe we're in someone's memory right now. Yeah. Right! Paimon totally forgot about the Leyline disturbances. We're in someone else's memory. Just like how you entered your sibling's memory last time. That would also explain why we seem to be at a time before he went missing. It's a memory after all. How about we go confirm who the person is? Well, I guess there's no way to know since they don't remember. If you really are in someone's memory, then this is our chance to find him. Right. If he's someone who only exists in people's memories, then we're finally on the same turf. But didn't Bayron just say that he saw him leave the village with someone? Where should we go look for him? Who knows how long this ley line disturbance is gonna last? We might not have that much time and we don't even know whose memory this is. Maybe let's ask which direction he left, genius? Let's go through what we know for so far. Good idea! That'll help us narrow things down. We pretty much figured out that the missing villager has the ability to implant memories into other into the minds of others. Right, that. Can we try to figure out more about him using what we know of his ability? Like, does it maybe leave a trace that would somehow give him away? Hmm. Planting memories into the minds of others must be an imperfect process. There's no way the new memories could perfectly blend in with the old ones. There has to be some kind of tell. The weakness in the person in the missing person's abilities is scenes from false memories will not change. Time does not pass within false memories. Easily forgotten. Uh, this one. If right? time was allowed to pass within the false memories, there's a higher chance they might conflict with someone's original recollection. That would make it much harder to avoid suspicion. No wonder. Easy clap. Two out of two. Time in the sky hasn't changed a bit. That must mean time isn't passing. That's the tell of the fake memories. The implanted memories are basically taking place outside of the regular 24 hours of the day. If the memories included the regular passage of time, it would be easy for people to tell that something was off. Like there could be overlap or something. People might start to wonder why they remember doing two different things at the same time of day. That's why he makes sure the memories take place at a specific moment in time rather than over a period of time. If we consider this in conjunction with what we already know, then the question of those memory, of whose memory this is, seems to have an obvious answer. Dang, Slave. I actually have no idea. She said sundown, so I'm assuming the color her. of the sky coincides with the moment in time she described. Three for three. Hundred oh, percent, right. exactly bitch. What a toast it described. Huh. I'm the Come goat. to think of it, every time we talked, it always seemed to be around dusk, just like right now. Yeah, I listen. I remember things from twenty minutes ago. Time always passed by really slowly. Even when it felt like we'd been talking for hours, 
the sun would still be at the same position in the sky. Yep, that has to be it. This is definitely Atosa's memory. To the tree. Yeah, that's where they'll be. I'm gonna interrupt their little date. I'm gonna catch her cheating. On this episode of Cheaters. I was gonna say the guy's name, but I don't know who the fuck the guy is. I only watch like 10 minutes at a time. There you are, you whore! Fucking trying to steal my man. So, you see, Granny Jahiet was a mercenary when she was younger. She just talks like that out of habit. She's not trying to scare the children on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there I go again. Always talking about my own things. Do you maybe have anything you want to share? Um, it's okay if you don't. <laughs> what the fuck? You, you could also just talk about what you think of me. Holy shit, you narcissist! Oh, I, uh, I, I think you're an incredibly strong and thoughtful Damn, young man. Damn, you handsome. You'll meet many amazing people and live a very happy life. You won't miss someone like me. God, you're annoying already. You're that kind of person. Huh? Are those your friends over there? You could say that. Don't mind us, we're just listening. Surprise, motherfucker. We finally found him. Why does he look kind of familiar? Because everyone there wears the same clothes. All right. This version of Atosa hasn't met us yet. Friends? I guess you could say that. It must have taken them a lot of effort to find me. Not really. We kind of just literally walked in. So... What is happening I outside? I should see what they need. I'm sorry, Atosa. We'll have to continue this conversation another time. Another time, Bye-bye, huh? Atosa. Um... Yeah. Okay. I'll head back to the village, then. Damn. Talk to you... Some other time. I don't think so. Imagine the person you think you love and want to spend the rest of your time with is just an imaginary person. That's sad as fuck. Too bad, so sad, Atosa, you'll die alone. Now you! Who do you think you are? Messing with people's It's nice memories. to see you, Traveler. I believe this is the first time we've met. You're... Why even speak? I don't know this person. <gasps> oh, are you the dad? Factoring in the memories, the Abyss Order, the Loma Fate, and everything else. I need to think about this. Of the one person that can connect all this together. Ah, oh, brother. It's not that guy. That was the son. So this has got to be the father. The founder of the Abyss Order. Nope. The man who broke the curse of immortality. Mm, I... Nope. Born into abject sorrow, he shall now be... Nope. Dane's brother, one of the five sinners of... I think it's this? The founder of the Abyss Order. No. No, no, I fucked up. Are you the Born son? Born into abject... You're... Ah! Hurry, Bear Alberic. Damn, you were fine. Oh, you know me? That's quite the surprise. I don't believe I've met you before. I thought you turned when you were a kid. Oh, I see. It was the memory, wasn't it? Your sibling's memory. You saw the me from back then. Uh-huh. This is Atosa's memory. I came here to say goodbye to her. But I suppose I'll just leave her a message instead. Come, let's find somewhere else to talk. No. Now he's trapped me in his brain. I don't know what that says. Where's the subtitles? One of their letters is just a heart. What else do they have? A big G and a little G. J's. 
the halo symbol. <laughs> a snake. No. Wow. This place for me? Wow. This place sick as hell. Where you, where'd you put Paimon? She's missing. Oh. The proof of existence. Damn, I don't want to leave this place. This place is cool. It's like that one teapot realm except cooler. Or at least I think. I don't really remember. Wow. <sighs> what is this place? I suppose Damn. you could call it the realm of my consciousness. I'm someone who no longer exists in the real world after all. As you well know. You look quite exhausted. Uh, it's nothing. I still have enough strength to play the part of a good host. I've always hoped that I'd get the chance to talk to you like this. And now, the time has finally arrived. This is a rare opportunity for me as well. I should try to learn as much information from Kelly Bear as I can. What exactly happened to you? What exactly is the loom of fate? Extreme sorrow and pain. Hope and regret coursing through your veins. And a degree of abyssal power that defies comprehension. Father told me that once I possessed all those elements, I would become the loom of fate. But Despite his intentions for me. I never truly became the Loom of Fate. I was merely used as a means for its construction. In truth, I died the moment I set everything in motion. Ah. The person you see before you now is nothing but a remnant of consciousness left over within the Loom of Fate. Carrie Bear is dead. That's why you no longer exist outside of people's memories. As for your question, the Loom of Fate is a device capable of weaving ley lines. Weaving ley lines? In its primitive form, it can only be used to create and implant memories. But, as more of it is completed, its power becomes stronger and stronger, until finally, it has the power to weave real ley lines of its own. Once fully completed, the moment it gains the power to weave ley lines, it loses the lower level ability to influence memories. But it also becomes a tool that can change the entire world. So that was the, 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 so that was the source of your ability to implant memories? Yes. I have the ability to control the loom in its semi-completed form. I suppose you can think of it as a form of compensation. After all, its existence cost me my life. So the memories that suddenly appeared in Dane's mind were implanted by Carrie Bear through the half-finished Loom of Fate. Yes, he just said that. Why am I repeating it? That makes sense, but I'm still lost as to why he went as far as to introduce himself to all the residents of the Mara village. But why did you implant memories of yourself in the people of, of the Mara village? Ah, uh, that. I was wrong to implant those memories. I'm sorry I caused so much trouble. Not only for everyone in the village, but for you as well. I just... wanted them to feel like I once existed in this world. As if... I had a chance at life. So that's why I would have never guessed. But is there any kind of meaning to this? Does only existing in people's memories really count as living? <laughs> I know what you must be thinking. Why would I do something so meaningless? <sighs> but I just... I just couldn't accept it. I had to know what it would be like if I had my own life. What kind of person I would be. What other people would think of me. Chief Amadea, Aram, Granny Jahiat, Atosa. No! They made little dollies. Wow, oh, it's so cute. 
What would it be like if I could live alongside them? No cataclysm, no curse. Just a quiet life in a peaceful village. I was curious, so I selfishly tried to have my own life. Yeah, how dare you? You should be ashamed of yourself. Even if... Even <laughs> if that meant piecing together the version of myself that could have been... One memory at a time. I know it sounds stupid. <laughs> After all... My life ended a long time ago. Any chance at living was stripped away from me when I was eight years old. Oh wow, you're consciousness great. left to mature in an illusory world of nothingness. I'm surprised I remember his age. Even the form you see before you was nothing but an invention based on my father's appearance. Oh wait, no. An imagined version of what I would look like if I had the chance to grow up. I think I just said he was young. I didn't mention the age, but I was thinking eight. Alright, what did you say? Even the form you see before you is nothing but an invention based on my father's appearance. Damn, your dad was fine as hell. An imagined version of what I would look like if I had the chance to grow up. I didn't stutter once, hell yeah. In the end, this all stems from the tragedy that once occurred in Conria back then. You know, everyone is looking for you. I know. But there's nothing I can do to make them find me. They can find me. I'll marry a Tosa in your place. If I could exist in the real world, I would return without a second thought and surprise them with the suddenness of it all. But, well, that's not possible for me. As I understand it, even though you only appeared in their memories, your existence was a great comfort to them. Ugh. They all believe you once lived among them. I know. You just know everything, don't you? Can't just let me fucking comfort you? Well, now that I've found you, let's continue this conversation some other time. They might still need my help. Captain Dainsliff? Twilight Sword, you mean? Ah, uh, no need to meet up with him. Things should already be settled on his end. Settled? Exactly. As someone who could only exist in people's memories, the fact that I'm able to talk to you in my consciousness like this can only mean one thing. I'm dead. The loom of fate has already been completed. No! <gasps> what? The loom of fate is already complete? That means the eye of the first field tiller must have fallen into the hands of the abyss. Could something have happened to Dane? No need to worry about Captain Dane's left. He's absolutely fine. He is fine. The only he? reason he lost the eye was because I happened to guess exactly what he was planning. Oh, you just happened to guess it. Captain Dainsliff has had the eye inside his body this whole time, hasn't he? His plan was to lure the Abyss Order to a false location, capitalizing on their pursuit of the eye in order to have the chance to confront the princess. Huh? I he would then it. hand the eye to you and tell you to take it away from that location. You didn't give me that shit, way. Though. Captain Dainsliff could accomplish his own goal and ensure the safety of the Eye all at once. A very thorough plan. But Dane never handed me the Eye. That's right. Because in his mind, he had given it to you already. What? What are you... Brother, are you high? Wait, does this mean he gave the... He gave Dane a false memory? You made him think that? When? Before you two entered that false location. <gasps> it's me. Traveler, wait. Hmm? Oh, he said, hmm. Uh, we've no time to lose. Let's head inside. You bastard. You robbed me of the eye. So when Dane froze up back then, it was because the false memory was being implanted in his mind. No wonder. That was when I implanted the memory of him handing you the eye. Beat his ass, Traveler. Given the tense situation at that time, Captain Dainsliff failed to notice anything out of the ordinary and took that memory to be real. I'm sorry, Traveler, but I needed the Loom of Fate to be completed. And to do that, we had to retrieve the eye. I can't stand you. 
So, Dane had the eye this whole time until the Abyss t Order took it away. I'm not sure there's anything we could have done. Now that the Luma Fate is complete, what are you planning on doing with it? I promise I'm not trying to conceal anything from you, but uh -huh. I truly have no idea what the Princess is planning. Tavat's ley line system is deeply entrenched in the planet. Creating new ley lines can neither replace nor extend the ones that already exist. In the face of everything they could be planning, I fear I'm too insignificant to even get a glimpse of the bigger picture. In any case, I had my own use for the Loom of Fate, and my goal, at least, has been achieved. Your goal? You remember my father, don't you? No. Clotar Alberic. I believe you saw him in your sibling's memory. After he used the power of the Abyss to restore consciousness to my hilly churl form, I suffered from an indescribable level of mental anguish. To comfort me, my father told me a story that this was a fairy tale world where I had to take on the form of a little monster. That story managed to dispel my fears, even if just for a moment. My goal was simple to use the loom of fate in its near completed form when its ability to create memories was at its strongest to implant a specific memory into the minds of the hilly churls in that memory I would tell them a story just like my father did for me it was a story of fairy tales and love but more than anything, it was the story of us. Ah, oh, that's so fucking sweet. Surely this means they'll stop having us kill hilly trolls, right? Right? So the thing that caused the hilly trolls to calm down back then was Carrie Bear's story. So that was his goal. That was the only thing he wanted. That's so sad. He had a device as powerful as the Loom of Fate at his disposal, and all he wanted to do was, it was offer the Hilly Churls a moment of comfort and peace. I can't change the world. Not when I lost the very right to exist within it. Implanting those memories, that was the most worthwhile thing I could offer. Perhaps. I think it was a very meaningful indeed. All that's left of my existence is a wisp of residual consciousness tied to the loom of fate. In truth, that trace of my consciousness should have dissipated long ago. My goal was the one thing that allowed me to hold on all this time. But now, the bedtime story he said the fucking is poison. finished. And it's finally time to rest. Now, cutscene. <sighs> Carry there <sighs> now. Catch it. Huh? No, Gary there. <laughs> no, he's gone. Looks like I was too late to see Kari Bear one last time. Oh shit. <laughs> Luvi. <laughs> You're actually gonna sit and talk this time? <laughs> no! It's a fucking Carly illusion! consciousness is gone. And this space will soon disappear <laughs> along with it. Neither of us belongs here. That's why we're not tangible. <sighs> were that not the case, I'd love to hug you too. You liar. 
How about a conversation? Ah, that's cool. We can actually talk to her. <laughs> How about a conversation? Leaves. The chance to just stop and talk like this is certainly not easy to come by. Wouldn't you agree? Okay, this this is definitely the thumbnail. This right here. Yeah, I almost can't believe it's real, but it's not real. She just told you that. That battle earlier was tough. The one against Dane, I mean. Oh yeah, the one I didn't get to see, because they didn't show me. I didn't expect that after everything, he would still hesitate to raise his sword against me. Were it not for that, perhaps I'd still be no match for the Twilight Sword. Even after 500 years. What exactly are you planning? What are you going to do with the Loom of Fate? The Loom of Fate, huh? I still haven't found a way to utilize it to its full potential. But there's still time. Before the Heavenly Principles awaken. The Heavenly Principles are still asleep? <laughs> Motherfuckers bed as hell. Yes, for 500 years now, ever since the Cataclysm in Conria. There's been no sign of activity. Not long ago, you witnessed the Hydro Archon destroy her divine throne. Yes? This is so surreal. <laughs> Just sitting here talking with her. Yes, I did witness that. Such a flagrant disregard for the rules. And still, Celestia took no action. I suppose that's proof enough of the Heavenly Principles situation. However... The Heavenly Principles will awaken. We just don't know when that will be, or what might trigger it. You really hate the prin Heavenly Principles, don't you? You could say that. <laughs> just look at Kari Bear. He was so pure and single-minded. The space we now find ourselves is a perfect representation of who he was. Quiet and peaceful. Damn, this whole scenery is fucking pretty. Even as a hilly churl, seeing the terrible sight within the mirror wasn't enough to taint his spirit. He brought comfort to the people of this world, even though he was denied the very right to be a part of it. So ask yourself this. Who was it that deprived him of that right to exist? Me. Of course, that's only one example. My feelings about the Heavenly Principles are too complicated to explain in just a few words. So use more words. <laughs> Ether? Huh? Could you repeat that? I wasn't listening. Bro was zoned out. You're the only one in this world <gasps> who calls me that. Oh, you're right! Everyone calls me fuck-ass traveler. There's so much I wanted to ask you, but for some reason, I'm not interested in asking those questions right now. There's just one thing I have to ask. One thing I could never understand. Why did you leave me? Why? Why can't we continue our journey together? Why can't we rule this world together? We can crush it under our feet, but this stupid game makes me be a hero. Oh, it's their little dollies. Hmm. Literally, though, why can't we? At the end of my journey, I arrived at a place known as the Sea of Flowers at the end. Do you remember? A long time ago, when we traveled between worlds together. You told me you wanted to find a place in the universe where that one flower was in full bloom. To have a place like that suddenly appear before me. Well, would you think of that as a coincidence? You mean... I miss you too, Ether. Ah, oh, look at them. Cute. But as this war continues to rage, 
And as I continue to seek that final answer, I don't even know how to face myself sometimes, let alone my own brother. <sighs> huh? Oh shit, what's going on? This space has lost its tether. I doubt it'll be able to exist much longer. Now hug me one last time, virtual In fact, hug. Aside from our inability to physically interact with each other, there's something else you should know about this space. Say it then, with are you? Bear gone, we won't be able to remember anything. Of that course. Here. Of course I'd forget it all. Everything in space will be wiped from existence. Including all memory of our reunion. You just couldn't let me have it, could you? Nah, that's too much for me. Are you telling me this now? Punch her. She won't remember. No! Louie! Louie, come back. She left me again. So sad. So is Dane dead or what? You kill him? Where'd Paimon go? She got sent to the fucking Shadow Realm. He's just sitting in a dark void. Oh, there you are. Yeah, and so sleepy. Paimon's head still feels fall fuzzy. Oh, Paimon woke up a little earlier than you, so Paimon will fill you in. The <laughs> villagers said that they saw us sleeping near the village yesterday. They couldn't wake us up no matter how hard they tried, so they decided to just bring us back here. They just slow up, fucking whacked our heads with rocks. Oh, and Dane came by just now? It looked like he was injured. Oh, she did beat his ass. He didn't say anything, though. Just made sure that you were alright and left. Kinda seemed like he had a lot on his mind, but that's Dane for ya. Man, fuck that piece of shit car that just passed by. He never changes, does he? I'm having trouble thinking straight right now. Hmm, let's think for a second. We were in that memory, and we saw that guy you called Curry Bear. He was the missing villager Wait, that we've been there. trying to find, right? And after that, uh, Paimon doesn't remember what happened. Carrie Bear and I talked for a while. He told me about the Loom of Fate. Wait, really? What a score! I guess our commission is complete then. The missing villager and the person who only existed in people's memories was Carrie Bear all along. So, how do you intend to prove that? We're just gonna show, like, yeah, he just, like, didn't exist. They just made him the fuck up. And she's just supposed to believe it and give us the money. They're not gonna buy that. But now that he's gone, I'm not sure how to explain all the things. Explain things to the villagers. Well, what happened after that? After that? I don't fucking know. Huh, can't seem to remember. I forgot. Maybe I'm just tired. I feel like something else happened, but I can't remember. I'm not sure why, but it almost feels like I lost something. Ah, there you are. Oh, jump scared. Jesus. Sleep well? No. Hey, Ron, you sure seem happy. Did something good happen? Something good? Huh. Wasn't anything good or bad, I'd say. It's just that, well, the village organized another search party yesterday. It didn't feel right to leave all the searching to the adventurers. So there so we were, remember. searching away, when suddenly this one guy said it all came back to him. According to him, one day around dusk, he was passing by this one tree outside the village, and he saw our missing villager. There he was, sleeping under that tree all by himself. His parents came a little later to wake him up, and they all left together. It looked like quite a happy family, apparently. And after that, well, we all started to feel like that really is what happened. Kind of strange that we forgot all about it for so long. <laughs> what about Atosa? How's she coping? So that's how Carrie Bear said his goodbyes. That's the last memory he gave them. Oh, and we also remembered his name. Curry Bear. Yeah. Now, that's not a name you hear every day. Would have been helpful if we remembered it sooner. 
It is a unique name. Make sure you remember it this time. Well, I hope he's happy wherever he is. And we're all relieved now that we know what happened. Bye bye. Where's the toast? Seems like everyone thinks Curry Bear left the village. That's probably for the best. At least they have some sort of explanation now. Carrie Bear is gone, the Luma Fate is now complete, and no one else will try to change the villagers' memories. Hmm. Paimon wonders how Atos is doing. Maybe we should go check on her. If she hasn't remembered like everyone else, we can tell her what happened. Paimon didn't see her in the village just now, so she's probably at the tree. Come on, let's go talk to her. I could make a really <laughs> fucked up joke, but I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> I'm not gonna make the joke. Slowly open the door. Atosa, are you crying under the tree? There she is, crying. Crying, hugging the tree. How could he leave me? I had his baby. What up? How's it going? Oh, it's you two. I was just about to go looking for you. I wanted to thank you. For what? I was part of the search party, so I... remember what happened to Kari Bear now. Honestly, I just... can't believe I forgot something so important. Maybe he wanted you to forget him. I'm sure he wouldn't want you to forget him. <laughs> two opposite answers. I'll say that. That was more comforting, I guess. He always seemed to appear out of nowhere, and now he left just as quickly. If Kari Bear wants me to forget about the time we spent together, then I'm willing to try. I relied on him for a lot of things, but I'm sure with enough time, even the deepest of attachments can fade. <sighs> You can make memories with me, baby girl. <laughs> he didn't even try. Okay, I'll admit. I'm just putting on a brave face. I was dumped, wasn't I? <laughs> yeah, kinda. Otherwise, why would he just leave like that without saying goodbye? I'm sure he had his reasons. <laughs> you don't need to comfort me. I'll be okay. Mm, are you sure about that? It's just like Kari Bear said. It's the things we overcome that make life more precious. And you know, if he has a heart, maybe he'll come back and see me one day. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Or not. Anyway, thanks for all your hard work, you two. I promised I'd help Granny Jahiet with something, so I should head back. Goodbye. Bye. Well, that should be it, right? Everyone's lives can go back to normal now. What about the old man? Oh, right! Weren't you about to tell Paimon what happened after your conversation with the Curry <laughs> Bear? Right. What was it that happened? I can't remember. Huh. Feels like there's something in my pocket. A... Uh, a picture? Where'd that come from? Let Paimon see! Ah, uh, cute! No, that's so sad. You must get along with each other, the two of you. No. No. Natlin, a new adventure. Oh, what time is it? What time is it? It's twelve thirty. I really want to start it, but I really shouldn't. La la la, I really shouldn't. Uh, I really shouldn't. Oh, it's all the way over there. Brrr, uh, da, 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 da. I shouldn't. I just gotta save it for tomorrow. I don't want to save it for tomorrow, but I have to save it for tomorrow. Alright, that's gonna be it. I don't want to end, no. That's gonna be it for this stream. Tomorrow morning, probably. In like 
nine hours or something, hopefully. Probably not, I'm probably gonna stay up late, but... As soon as I wake up, my ass is hopping on the game. Oh wait, I gotta do that later. Uh, my ass is hopping on the game and playing the shit out of that one. I'm prob probably gonna do the whole thing. Whatever the hell's out, it's probably only a couple hours. But I can't wait, I can't wait. But that's all for this stream. Peace out. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. I love you. I love you. Goodbye. Goodbye.